Right, oh guys, it is a couple of days later and I have been putting some coats of my gloss on this stuff in the interim. I didn't film it because, I mean, there's nothing to see. I'm just literally pouring it out as is. Um, not adding water or anything because this was already damp and I did want it to be quite structural and everything so um, yeah I just did it as is so it is quite some bits are still a little damp but it is quite structural I'm pretty happy with it um, same with this bit here for the side part so I I was trying to run through my head the best way to construct this thing because basically I need it to be the right size so it goes around the neck nicely and then I also need to incorporate my little mushroom guys Oops. so I need to incorporate these into it now I was originally like oh I'll put them on first and work out where they're going to go and then I'll cover it all with the felt but the reason I didn't do that was because I did sort of feel like I nearly need to have this in place and all kind of sorted out before I place them because I don't know where they're going to end up I don't want them to end up sticking to the back where it's you know not going to work out um, so I need to like work out where in the piece they're going to be. I need to make sure this is the right length. It is a little longer than it needs to be so that I can wrap it around itself a little too and because I want to do that again don't know where these will end up as well. But what I've just thought because I was like oh I can construct the mushrooms on there now and everything and I can but also I do need to work out what I'm doing with this dip it stuff and see if I can create some um, either um, petals and make some flowers or possibly make some wings. I was originally thinking wings but I am not too sure how that will turn out but it might be okay. Um, I don't know I'm a little nervous about this stuff because I've never tried it before I guess it's that you know moment where you plunge into something new and and it's all a bit scary and unknown. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is try to make some things out of the dip it stuff next before I do anything else. If it all goes well and I can create a few nice either wings or flowers or something to be incorporated into this part um, then I'll make them, I'll wait for them to dry and then what I'll be able to do is put both the mushrooms and the wings or whatever I make into this part where I want it I think I might I'm gonna see if I can poke a hole and sort of you know feel, feed it through oh I don't know I'm trying to work out how I want to do it I might end up wrapping it actually because it might be a bit stronger and then covering up the wire with um, more um, felt work which means I'll have to then uh, wet it down again and use more of my gloss medium and stuff to cover up these parts with some more details so yes I think that's where we're at I am going to do some playing I've got all my different little tins of things here um, I don't know where to start <laughs> I have a strengthener I have a thinner and I've got different colors I think what I'm going to do is just like do a couple of little test ones and just see how this stuff even works because you need to kind of understand the medium before you can start playing around with it and then I, I think I can mix things together to get colors too but uh, I don't want to sort of use too much because this stuff wasn't cheap <laughs> and I don't want to waste it so I'm I'm going to try a couple of just one color I'll pick a color and I'll just try and see how it goes um, and we'll see what happens now I used this nice thin craft wire to create the wings 
I first tried to do one with one piece of wire to make all four wings instead of attaching uh, various bits of wire together and that worked out pretty well. It's a little trickier because you've got to really think about how much wire you'll need for all four wings but you'll see it did come out pretty well. Now, <laughs> I did not think this through and I made this way too big and struggled to get it in the tin. So do keep that in mind with these. I found myself a bit short this time, so I ended up making two different sets, the top wings and then the bottom wings and then attaching them together. Now when you dip it, you need to then try and get the little uh, tendrils to go towards the base of what you're dipping with. So uh, that stem that I'm using to dip it with, you need to try and direct them towards that. And then probably use something to pull off any excess from around the edges. guys well it came out pretty good actually um, I've made a whole bunch I'm no way going to be able to use all of these in the piece but I wasn't sure how some of them were going to turn out uh, you know when they're drying they have like they don't uh, pull taut straight away so and some of them have still kept some of the like I don't know if you can see the the rippling that happened on this one in the camera there I'll see if I can it's hard to kind of show it but uh, it's not entirely smooth and it's quite thin at the moment so it doesn't feel like like it it feels strong ish it doesn't feel like super delicate but um, but delicate enough that I feel that you could push something through that um, fairly easily but I do also have the strengthener stuff which I haven't used yet uh, and you're meant to wait for it to dry and you dip it into the strengthener afterwards which I will be doing what I do want to do though is do some um, little details on the wings as well so I brought over my little alcohol inks and I might just put some little bits of detail on the wings first and then dip them in the strengthener so hopefully that works okay I don't know how alcohol will react to this uh, I believe that once it's dry it's dry and it's okay so we'll see um, <laughs> I may be back uh, having a cry over melting my wings or something I don't know yet and um, and I am really hoping that strengthener does make this really quite strong because especially on these larger ones I don't know how convinced I am that that will remain intact in the necklace so if I feel really unsure about that I may rethink using them I don't know so let's do some details first though and we'll see how it all comes together okay so you could use acrylic paint for this uh, I decided to use the alcohol inks just because I thought they might be a little bit translucent which they were but honestly um, I think some of it I probably wanted a bit more opaque than it was because I was pretty sparing with the details making sure not to cover the whole thing with the paint because I did want it to look still a little bit transparent 
Um, now, I did shake up that hardener before I dipped it into there, thinking, oh, I better mix it. And um, it was pretty frothy after that, so I, I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> Now you'll see I've got two colours of wings here as the base. I used two different dip colours. One was the purple and one was the blue. So I've just tried to keep all sorts of jewel tones in the wings. Uh, I did use a little bit of silver on a couple of the wings as well. And then for others, I just went with um, different colors like pinks and greens that would go with uh, the base color of the wings. And then to dip them all into the strengthening dip so this is supposed to add a layer of strength it is a little bit fragile um not like it's going to break just by looking at it but um you know you could easily pierce the stuff uh prior to that the strengthener wasn't the best so i did find the crystal lacquer uh, was the way to go So these are nice and dry now. Uh, the crystal 3D lacquer made a huge difference in the strength of the fairy wings. It's definitely uh, worthwhile doing this step. You could possibly use like a UV resin as well. I've seen people do things like that. Um, I don't have any of that or a UV light at this stage, but this is great. You don't need to necessarily use the resin because I do feel like this has added some really good strength and I'm not concerned about this anymore. Um, and I actually think I may end up using one of the sets of wings in here instead of using the other wings that I was going to use, which are these ones, which I do also love. So I do really like these wings too. I do feel that they, they get a bit lost in here though because uh, they're nice and translucent and there's a lot of dark color here. So I, I don't think they're quite right for this piece. I think I'll leave them out and use this instead. I think that just suits it. And plus, if I put that one there or one of them there, I could use a different one. Um, and then I have the other uh, wings along the other side of the necklace. Let me zoom you out. So if I then you know, uh, have my other side of the necklace once I get that sorted out and have various sets of wings along here. It makes more sense that they match with the one that's sitting over here. It ties the piece together rather than using a different set of wings in that spot. So although I was originally really excited about using these and I, I, the colors purple and it suits and everything, uh, I think it's not as good an option as using these. I can't wait to play with this stuff more. I think this is so fun. Um, like I said, if you just do the dip resin and even when I was using the strengthener, cause what I did, I dipped it in the strengthener a number of times first. Um, I think two or three times I dipped them in just to see if it would add more strength. I wasn't satisfied with the amount of strength that it was giving. It probably added a little bit of strength, but not that much. Whereas really just filling it with this crystal lacquer, that was the ticket. So um, I'll leave it at that. Uh, I now will need to start working out how to construct things. Um, I will probably in the next video be 
um, doing some construction of this part and with the mushrooms as well so I'll grab a couple of them so some mushrooms some fairy wings and all of that sort of stuff will be going around here um, and then some more felting to cover up the wire and all of that and working out length and all of that sort of thing so stay tuned for that um, subscribe if you want to see what is happening with this necklace we're coming to the final stretch I think um, well I hope so at least <laughs> so yeah hit subscribe if you do want to see what's happening with the necklace and some other fun projects that I've got lined up as well and for the rest of you I'll see you next time in Feywood bye guys